Hi and welcome back to On the Water. Today we're going to be tying a pattern known as Red Quill. For this we're going to be using natural CDC feathers. Only need two of those. We're going to be do doing this on a size 14 TMC 100 hook. 1x fine. We're going to be using 6 aught brown thread. Stripped peacock quills from Polish quills and natural. And brown brown hackle. So for this, we're going to start our thread onto the hook shank. Actually we don't even need to work our way down that far. Sorry about that. Just a little bit down the hook shank. Once we have that on there we're going to take our CDC fibers. You want your CDC fibers to be just a little longer than the shank of the hook. Do a loose wrap and then kind of pinch it into place with some tighter wraps. And come in front. Do a couple wraps in front just to kind of hold everything in place. and you can cut off the butt ends of the CDC feathers. I always kind of like to clean up some of these loose ones. And when you put the CDC feathers together, since we're using two of them, you want to line the tips of the CDC feather. So next we're going to be doing the tail. For the tail, we're going to be using some of the brown hackle. What you want to do is find a larger feather that has some more, once you pull them back like this against the feather, you're going to find a grouping that kind of sticks more straight out. Once you find that grouping, you're going to cut or pull them off and you're going to cut the curlies off the end. I have a little grouping here. So we're going to do this just about half the length of the shank of the hook. Cut off the butt ends or just try to tie them in. I'll say I tried tying them in, didn't really work too well. So I'm going to go ahead and clean some of this up. Just try not to cut your tying thread or anything else you don't want to cut. From here, we're going to be taking our hackle. We're just going to tie this in along the side of the hook up near your CDC. Now, with your hackle feather, if I tie it in like this, you notice how I have it stripped a little farther up on one side than I do the other. What it's going to do is when we start to tie or start to wrap that in, it's going to cause the feather to lay. It's going to cause the feather to lay correctly against the hook and be a little easier to fully tie it in. Mm. 
Let me move that forward a little bit more. Still stick it too far back for my taste there. There we go. It's going to be a little in the way while you do the rest of the fly, but. push it up and out of the way let's work your back way back to the tail from there I grab a piece of stripped peacock quill Take your hackle pliers. Start doing wraps around. You can do barely touching, slightly spaced. This peacock wheel is going to give that black stripe since it's facing towards the bottom when I tied it in it is going to be our basis for the segmentation go ahead and cut off the excess quill, try not to snip your hackle feather at all. And from here, sorry, go ahead and work your thread up towards the front. Got a little ahead of myself there. Kind of pointless to wrap the hack up to the front if your thread's not there to tie it in when you're done. Just do a couple wraps behind. A right, couple wraps in front. and build up a little bit of a head with your thread accidentally capture on my hack all fibers there let's go ahead and trim anything out whenever you whenever that happens and then take your whip finisher finish still managed to catch a couple of fibers in with that whip finish if you want you can trim a little off the CDC plume if you got a little too high like I did there we go After that, take some UV UV glue. I'm using thin for this one. Just gonna put a small drop on the front. If I can get any to come out. Yeah. 
Let me switch the nozzle tips. That one's clogged up. kind of get it brushed in on the head now let's go ahead and harden that real quick so we don't get more of our fibers stuck in it just kind of push all your hackle forward a little bit Because peacock quill is kind of brittle. So I want this fly to last for more than one or two fish. Just go ahead and take the UV glue, put a few drops on, brush it around, and hit it with the light. Only takes a few seconds to finish. And there you go. That is a red quill fly. Do a little shorter hackle if you want, or sorry, CDC feathers. Thank you for joining us on On the Water today, and see you next time.